Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for another video. David here. Um, I hope you're doing okay. I'm, I'm doing okay. It's a nice, brisk, sunny December afternoon in Osaka. Uh, but I thought I'd stay in and do another one of my presentation style um, videos because it's taken so long to get all this uh, these clips together. So I wanted to share one of my kind of bigger projects with you. Uh, I am getting oh, so close to finishing my uh, best of Osaka 50 places. So that's coming very soon hopefully by the end of the month. Uh, but today I want to focus on traveling inside Osaka and the Kansai area. Um, as you know, this is o Osaka channel, um, but Osaka is very well positioned uh, as a base if you're coming to visit. Um, so if you want to go to different places in the Kansai area, that might be uh, a good idea to stay in Osaka. And I want to introduce some of the train uh, services you can use. It can be a bit confusing because there are several uh, train companies that you can use. You can see some of the logos over here. Um, that's uh, going to be a bit confusing. If you uh, are coming to Japan, you might want to get the JR Rail Pass or you might not. Recently, the price has gone up quite substantially. So um, if you're just staying in the, around the Kansai area, then it might be worth just saving your money and um, using some of these other train services because some of them are cheaper. Uh, some of them are a bit more convenient to get where you want to go. And unless you're doing kind of cross-country travel, then you probably don't need to use the Shinkansen so much. Then the JR Pass gets a bit less uh, worthwhile. So uh, that's what I want to talk about today. So uh, please like this video, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments. And share this video to your uh, Osaka-loving friends, people coming to Japan, any train-loving friends as well. They might be interested in this. Uh, so let's get started then. Uh, I've got my PowerPoint set up. We're going to start off with the Osaka Metro, which is probably the widest network in Osaka City that you can use. I mean, look at this picture. Um, just the colourful lines uh, represent the Osaka Metro. Uh, so I want to talk about that. Um, I think in total there are nine lines to use in the Osaka Metro. Eight, depending on whether you're counting the new tram, which I do because it's, it's on the map or whatever. Um, this is our main underground service uh, through, through Osaka. It's very easy to use. Uh, you can get one day passes as well, which is quite reasonable if you want to do a lot of sightseeing in one day. Um, there's a bit of a mess of, of uh, routes, you can basically get anywhere in Osaka using the, using the metro. But the main lines to look out for are the red one down the middle, which is the Midosuji line. Uh, that runs all the way from the north to the south, uh, including Umeda and Namba, which are the kind of two main uh, downtown areas and then also south to Tennoji which is also another kind of transit hub um, that's very useful I use the Midasuji line quite a lot uh, also the Chuo line that's what I use these days because of where I live but that goes uh, east to west uh, west to east I don't know which way I'm going um, that's good if you want to see Osaka Castle um, also to transfer to the loop line um, yeah, I'm going to talk about the loop line in a minute but that's a that's a JR line that goes all the way around the city uh, it doesn't really go downtown, but it goes around the edge. But the Midosuji line and the Chuo line kind of uh, intersect quite easily. So uh, you might have quite a lot of mileage just using those two the two lines. Um, Chuo line also gets you to the aquarium too. Uh, that might be useful for you if, you if you're sightseeing and has some connections. If you want to go to USJ, I think you can change in uh, Bentencho. I think that's another one of the big hub, city, uh, hub stations. Um, Osaka Metro does uh, share some lines as well, so it does transfer seamlessly with the Hankyu line. Uh, I'll talk about that later too, but that uh, goes on the, uh, which one is that, the Sakai Suji line, I think that does. So that, that transits onto the Hankyu line. Uh, also the Chuo line um, morphs into the Kintetsu line as well, the Chuo line does that. So you can take a train from the aquarium all the way to Nara if you want to. Um, and also the Midosuji line finishes officially at Esaka in the north, uh, just, just north of Shinosaka Station. Uh, I should mention that too, that's on the Midosuji line, that's the Shinkansen terminal. Um, but it does extend up to like, more northerly parts of Osaka using the Kita Osaka Kyuko line. Uh, be careful if you're using the one day pass because it doesn't count on these extra um, kind of collaboration parts of the line. Uh, so please check your routes before you uh, buy your one day pass. Uh, so that's the Osaka Metro. There is the new tram I did briefly mention that goes, um, well, that's an automated line from uh, Osaka 
Cosmo Square, at the end of the Chio line to the end of the Otsubashi line. Um, it's a completely automated. If you, I don't really know what you can see there, there's a ferry terminal on the way. And uh, if you want to see the boat races too, um, they have these speedboat races that you can gamble on. Um, that's around there too. So check out the new tram if you're interested in the automated stuff. Um, I think that's enough for the Metro. There's, I can talk for hours on the Metro and I might, I might come back to that in a future video, what we can say about that. I think that's all I've got on my, on my line here. Let's move on to JR. Uh, again, JR is the huge complex uh, network. This is only a tiny part of it. Um, I, I can't display the whole thing. It's going to be m microscopic because uh, JR covers the entire country, basically. Um, it is divided into sections. So Osaka and the Kansai area is covered by JR West, along with the Chugoku area. Um, I'll put that on there. So uh, that does cover quite a lot. Um, if you move on to Nagoya, that's uh, JR Central, I think, and then JR East covers um, Tokyo and all of the Kanto area and Tohoku as well. There is a Shikoku branch as well and uh, Kyushu area of JR too, I think. I think that's all right. <laughs> I'm not up on my JR uh, organizational structure, but here we are. Uh, so JR West, um, but don't worry, if you use a JR pass, it does cover all the JRs, so uh, don't worry about uh, different train companies. You don't need to think. The main lines, um, well, there's so many main lines, really. There's the Osaka Loop Line, which goes all the way around the kind of outskirts of downtown Osaka. Uh, it goes from Osaka Station in the north, um, it goes around through Bentencho to uh, Tennoji in the south, and um, I guess Morinomiya, Kyobashi is the other hub hub station. So that has a lot of connections with other, other lines too. Uh, for example, Osaka Station has, uh, you don't have to walk a little bit, but you can get onto the uh, Hankyu and Hanshin lines from there. Um, also, Tennoji connects to Whoa, you're testing me now. Uh, <laughs> you can get the tram line. You can, oh, actually there's not that so much from Tenoji. Um, Kintetsu line goes from there too. Um, again, they're not exact connections, but they're pretty close. Kyobashi, you can get the Keihan line. Suruhashi, you can get the Kintetsu line. Yeah, possibilities are endless. Um, you can get quite far using the JR lines. I would say they don't especially serve the middle of the town very well. Uh, so if you want to get to Namba, for example, it's a bit of a pain to get there. Um, so it, at the minimum, you want to use the JR for the like mid, mid to long distance travel and the Metro for the downtown travel. That's my recommendation. Um, so yeah, the loop line goes all the way around. Uh, there are various other main lines, like the Kyoto line, which goes to Kyoto, obviously from Osaka Station. Uh, there's a Kobe line from Osaka too. Osaka Station is pretty huge. It has a lot of um, various lines. I made some notes here because I knew I wouldn't remember. Uh, yeah, Kobe line, Kyoto line. Oh yeah, and there's the Limited Express lines too. Um, there is the Haruka, which goes all the way to Kansai Airport. Uh, you don't need to use the Haruka uh, Limited Express. You can just use the regular, um, regular train that can go from uh, Osaka. It goes through Shin Imamiya, I think as well and Tenoji as well, you can get on there. Uh, that The Kansai Airport line does merge with the Hanwa line. Uh, the Hanwa line continues off to uh, uh, some other southern parts of, of, um, of Kansai, I think it goes to Wakayama. Uh, so be careful when you're using the Airport Express. It does, uh, some of them do split off at one point, so make sure you're in the right car. Um, maybe I can make a whole video about that. I have made a whole video about the, um, oh, it's too small for a thumbnail. Uh, I have made a whole video about getting to Kansai Airport, so please check that out. That's one of my most popular videos. Uh, there are limited express um, options too. You can use the Kono Tori up to, um, what's it called? Uh, Kinosaki Onsen in Hyogo. Is that Hyogo or Kyoto? I think Hyogo. One of the nice onsen towns on the north coast. Um, you can get the Thunderbird as well off to uh, Kanazawa. Um, but uh, we'll talk about how to get to Kanazawa in a moment as well, because there might be other options. And the Haruka, I said, a limited express to um, uh, Kansai Airport. There's also the Kuroshio, which goes all the way south down to Wakayama and uh, Shirahama, which is a nice kind of beachy area, uh, good, for, good in the summer. So that's JR, possibilities are endless. Uh, let's move on to the Shinkansen. Um, this kind of briefly touches in Osaka, and if you're using the JR Pass from Tokyo, you'll definitely use that. Uh, the Shinkansen network is spreading far and wide in Japan. Um, the ones to be concerned about in Osaka are the Sanyo Shinkansen, which goes 
west off to uh, Hiroshima and Kyushu. Um, so you can take that if you want to go to Fukuoka or as far as Kagoshima. Uh, there is also the Tokaido Shinkansen, which goes all the way to Tokyo and goes through uh, Nagoya, Yokohama, Kyoto as well. So those are the main ones. They both meet at Shin Osaka Station, which is not the same as Osaka Station. That's the JR station quite downtown in Umeda. Um, it does get a bit confusing with the names, but Shin Osaka is a bit further north. It's easy to get there from Osaka Station. You can use the um, uh, you can use the metro or you can use a tr uh, transfer from uh, JR as well. That's easy. Um, so make sure you use Shin Osaka. You can also actually go all the way continuously from Kagoshima to Tokyo. There is a, a break though. The branches don't continue all the way up to Tohoku. Um, so yeah, you might have to buy a few tickets. It's quite easy to transfer though. Tokyo station is huge, but it's easy to navigate. Um, there is going to be a future connection one day to Shinosaka to the Hokuriku area. That's going to make another loop from um, Tokyo to via Hokuriku area, which is uh, Toyama, um, uh, Ishikawa, which is where Kanazawa city is, uh, Fukui as well. It's coming down as far as Fukui and Suruga um, from I think spring 2024, uh, but the connection all the way to Os Osaka is not happening just yet. So uh, watch the space. Maybe you're watching this video in 10 years and it's already connected. I don't know. Um, so that is the Shinkansen. You can use the Shinkansen with the J JR Pass as well. So please book a ticket. Um, that will be you get a free, I think you get a free reservation for the Shinkansen. Maybe. <laughs> please check the terms and conditions. So that's the Shinkansen. Uh, next is Hankyu. And that's another one of the larger uh, networks in Kansai. Uh, it's based in Umeda, or starts in Umeda, and goes both directions to Kyoto and to uh, Kobe. Uh, Hankyu, um, yeah, goes from Umeda. There's a there's a kind of transit station called Juso, which is um, about five minutes outside Osaka Station. Uh, that's where all the branches happen. A lot of the later train development happened after Osaka got pretty large, so. A lot of the new stations like Shinosaka um, and like a satellite towns get used as transit hubs because there's just no space to do it in, in uh, the like densely built areas. Um, so yeah, you can change at Juso to go to, up to um, Takarazuka if you want to see the Takarazuka theatre. You can take the Kobe branch to Sanomiya. Sanomiya is the main uh, Kobe, um, Kobe station. You can change at Rokko. You can see Mount Rokko and see the night view there. Um, also, you can go off to off to Kyoto. There is a branch that serves the North Osaka, uh, but it does also go up to Kawanamachi in central kind of, yeah, central Kyoto city. Kawanamachi is quite a nice place to uh, visit, so definitely do that. There is an Arashiyama branch as well. If you want to see the bamboo forest there and the nice touristy areas, um, take the uh, Arashiyama branch. Uh, so that's Hankyu. Yeah, so. Yeah, like I said, there are extensive lines throughout Hyogo and Osaka and Kyoto prefectures. This is pretty good for um, com commuting as well. So let's take a look then. Uh, Hanshin as well. Hankyu and Hanshin kind of go hand in hand. Um, they're kind of two sides of the same coin. Hanshin is uh, considered a bit of a cheaper one, a little bit of a less uh, less gorgeous train line. I, I want to be polite. Um, it does have a fairly limited line structure as well. It goes from uh, Osaka Umeda and also Osaka Namba and merges at Amagasaki, which is one of the kind of commuter belt towns and goes off to um, Kobe Sanomiya station as well. I think they're on the same platform as the Hankyu trains as well, so that's easy to transfer. Uh, one of the big things about um, Hanshin is that they're the owner of the Hanshin Tigers. They're one of the biggest baseball teams in Kansai and in Japan. I think they've just won a big tournament, so good for them. And they also own Koshien Stadium where they play and they have the big outdoor um, college baseball tournaments as well. So if you're interested in that, use Hanshin. Uh, that's that's my, uh, my my recommendation. I think it goes through to um, Kyosen Adom as well, which is the big baseball stadium in, in kind of eastern, no, western Osaka, around the Osaka Bay. So next we have the monorail. Uh, monorail, well, you know what monorails are, they, they're fairly automated. They run on one rail. <laughs> what can I say about monorails? Um, this is the main transit option to go to Itami Airport uh, if you're not going to take a bus or taxi. So if you want to go to Itami, you do need to use the uh, Osaka monorail. They have explored other options or other companies, but they haven't really panned out. 
Um, the only difficult point is it's a little bit difficult to get onto the monorail. Uh, it's mostly taking care of the northern Osaka area. You can take the Midosuji line um, and the well, Kito Osaka Kyuko line merging up to Senrichuo, um, which is uh, kind of a hub station. You can change to the monorail there. Uh, there are a few other connections here and there. Um, Senrichuo is also um, a good place to um, take, the, take the monorail to Banpaku Park, the Expo Park. That's got the big Tower of the Sun. Um, so that's, if you can see right in the center of this map, it's got Banpaku Kina and Koen Station. Um, that's, that's that one. And Osaka Airport is the other name for Itami Airport. So um, yeah, do that. Go there if you need to use Itami. Uh, it is the sec second longest monorail in the world, apparently, um, behind one in China. Uh, so yeah, check out if you're a monorail fan. That's definitely one of the big ones. Uh, now onto Keihan, which mostly serves Kyoto. Um, it goes from Osaka around Yoru, Yoruyabashi station, which is a little one station south of Umeda. Um, I think it connects in Nakanoshima as well, which is really downtown uh, downtown Osaka, and joins up in, I think, Temabashi, and goes off to Kyoto. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of the uh, Osaka-Kyoto main line. Uh, it is convenient if you want to go to Uji, because it has a little Uji branch. You can see on the little sightseeing map there, Byodoin. That's the temple on the 10 yen coins and Uji, Uji is famous for green tea. It's kind of a nice place for tourists. Uh, for Shimi and Ari, there's have all the Tori gates. You can go there and uh, Arashiyama, I don't think. Oh no, no, sorry, that's a different line. I made a mistake on my um, presentation. Um, well, it's quite easy to transfer to Arashiyama from there anyway. Uh, you can also continue off to Gion. There's a lot of sightseeing spots along Kyoto city. It's quite convenient for Kyoto. I think um, I often take that if I want to go to Kiyomizu Temple. Um, I I often feel like JR is not that useful for Kyoto because JR Kyoto is massive and that's a really central hub as well. But it's not really that f close to um, a lot of the sightseeing spots apart from the aquarium and the train museum. Uh, so I recommend using Keihan. I quite like the trains as well. If you take the Limited Express uh, for no extra charge, you can have these quite gorgeous, old-fashioned-looking trains, which I, I enjoy. Uh, okay, let's move on to Kintetsu, another pretty big network. Um, this serves uh, quite a lot of areas in Osaka. Um, it goes from Osaka, it connects to Nara. Um, you can go straight from Namba to Nara, I think. And also Kyoto, there's a Kyoto branch too. Um, I don't really use it that much for Kyoto because I think you have to go via Nara, so it's not really very direct. Um, also Iseshima over in Mie Prefecture on the on the kind of east side of the Kansai, I don't know what it's called, but Kansai Peninsula. And you can also go all the way to Kyoto as well. Um, if you're going to uh, Central Airport as well, that's that's an option. I've never used that, but um, if you want to go to Nagoya, yeah, you might consider using the Limited Express Hinotori. That's a really comfortable train. It's quite reasonable too. Uh, if you can book it a week in advance, even better, you can get a discount. But it's very, uh, very comfortable. So that's a good uh, alternative if you want to go to Nagoya instead of using the Shinkansen. Um, okay, that's the Kintetsu line. Um, there is a branch. There are kind of two. Uh, they're not totally separate, but there's the uh, Nara line, which goes off to Nara, obviously, and the Minami Osaka line, which goes off down to also Nara Prefecture. If you want to go to Yoshino or um, uh, what's it, Kashihara Shrine? Kashihara Shrine, Kashiwara Shrine. I always forget which one's which. Um, take a Kintetsu line. That's quite com convenient too. Uh, let's move on. We're almost at the end now. We've got to Nankai line. Uh, this is one of the uh, south serving lines. It starts up in Namba Station, which is, as I said, was the south uh, downtown line. Uh, it goes all the way down to Wakayama. Um, this is another option to take to Kansai Airport as well. So there are two main options for Kansai Airport, uh, JR and Nankai. Um, there's not really much difference in them, really. It just depends where you're starting from. If you're starting from Namba, yeah, Nankai might be quite convenient for you. There is a limited express from there, the Rapid Line. Um, there is also a branch that goes down to Koyasan, which is a nice mountainous shrine area in Wakayama. I do really like Koyasan. Uh, if you're looking for somewhere mountainous, if you want to see some snow in the winter, uh, that might be a good place to go. Um, you just be careful, this is quite a uh, confusing uh, route map. There's 
various speeds of train as well. Some of them stop everywhere, some of them don't. Be careful, don't take a local train unless you really need to on Nankai because when they say local train, they really mean it. <laughs> There's a lot of stations on the way and that can substantially lengthen your trip. Um, so yeah, look for the faster trains if you can. So that's the Nankai Line. Close to the Nankai Line is the Hankai Line. Um, they used to be part of the same company. Um, they split off relatively recently. That's why they had the same logo. The Hankai Line is the tram, uh, tram service of Osaka. It's a little bit old fashioned now. I don't think people use it that much unless they live in the southern parts of Osaka. Uh, it has two branches as well. It goes from Ebesucho, um, it's kind of close to Namba, I think. Oh, close to um, Shinsekai and uh, Tsutenkaku, all that place. And Tenoji, well, there's another branch there. They meet in Sumino, uh, Sumiyoshi, which is close to Sumiyoshi Shrine. And that's one of the big famous shrines in Osaka. And goes all the way south to Hamadera. Um, Hamadera Shrine is there too, Hamadera Park. Um, yep, so the tram. Um, I haven't really had that much use for the tram except going to Sumiyoshi just for a bit of uh, excitement, a bit of new, uh, new travel. Uh, so that's another option if you want to use that. Uh, yeah, so like I said, that uh, that, that serves Sumiyoshi Shrine and uh, converges in uh, Sumiyoshi. And if you're living in Sakai City or staying there for some reason, then that might be a good option for you. So to wrap things up, I want to just kind of summarize what each of the lines are um, good at. So the Osaka Metro is really good for Osaka sightseeing. You can get all over Osaka City fairly conveniently and uh, you can get a one, one day pass, which is very convenient and cheap. Uh, JR West is good for the wider Kansai area if you want to visit uh, Kyoto, Kobe, Shiga, all over the place then uh, JR's got you covered, um, especially if you've got that pass. There are some other smaller JR passes available, check on the JR West website, there are some um, like limited time passes that you can use, like the Kansai, uh, Kansai area wide pass which you can take to parts of Shikoku and uh, kind of further afield. So definitely check out the JR West website before you buy that JR Pass. Um, Shinkansen is better for long distance. It's only really cost effective if, you've, um, if you're if you going to go far away. Um, if you've got the JR Pass, definitely use the Shinkansen as much as you can to get your money's worth. So you can go to Tokyo, you can go to Hiroshima, um, you can even go to Hokkaido if you really want to. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but uh, you can get to Kyushu fairly easily too. Hankyu is uh, yeah best used to go to Kobe. Um, I, I think yeah that, that's its main main line. So use that to go to Kobe if you need to. Hanshin is kind of a bit overshadowed by Hankyu, but if you want to go to Koshien Stadium, if you're a big baseball fan, uh, use Hanshin. That's the best way to get there. Osaka Men Monorail. Um, its specialty is Itami Airport. It's got a bit of a monopoly on that. Keihan I recommend if you want to go to Kyoto. Um, it's got the nice comfortable trains. I really like the Keihan line but uh, you can't get that from uh, Umeda Station. You have to go to one of the other um, hub stations. Kyobashi will do. Uh, Kintetsu is good for Nara, a Nara area. That's got a kind of broad network around there. Uh, it's easy to get there from uh, JR, um, uh, not, not JR, what am I talking about? Um, oh, Namba, Namba, that's what I'm talking about. Nara Station, you can get to uh, Nara. Namba to Nara very easily. Oh dear. Oh. Losing my marbles today. Um, and you can even go further afield to Yoshino to see the cherry blossoms too. Nankai is pretty good for Kansai Airport as well. Um, that's fairly easy to get there from Namba. Uh, very easy service. And you can use that to get further down south if you want to. Uh, Hankai Line, well, it's fairly limited in its use for tourists, but you can go to Sumiyoshi Shrine if you just want to try one of the old fashioned routes in, in Japan, in Osaka, then use the Hankai Line for sure. And I want to switch this around as well. If you want to go to various areas, what do I recommend? Um, so like I said, Osaka sightseeing, Osaka Metro is the best for you, I think. Uh, it's very flexible. Kansai Airport, I, I don't think there's a lot of difference really. JR or Nankai, um, if you've got the pass, use JR. Uh, if you're staying in Nank Namba, then uh, Nankai is probably more convenient. JR Namba is not really a very convenient location. Itami Airport, I said, of course, use the monorail. Uh, Kyoto, yeah, Keihan I think has more coverage of the touristy areas, so if you can get a one-day pass of that, even better, you can visit Fushiminari and Uji and uh, all those places. Uh, Kobe, it's a bit of a toss-up between JR and Hankyu. Um, I think 
yeah, it's possibly a little bit faster, I'm not sure, but uh, thank you. Yeah, that's pretty good service as well. You can visit all sorts of places in the Kobe, uh, Hyogo and Kobe area. Uh, if you want to go to Nara, I like using Kintetsu Line. Um, they've got some quite cute trains as well that are decorated with uh, deer. Um, and that's quite convenient for Namba as well. If you want to go to Nagoya, um, Kintetsu, I think I recommend there too. Unless you've got the JR Pass, then the um, Hinotori Limited Express is really good for um, Nagoya. It's, it doesn't take that long, it takes about two hours, it's a reasonable price. Um, yeah, use that one. If you want to go to Hiroshima though, there's not really a lot of options. Shinkansen is probably your best option. Uh, or you could try and use that Japan uh, JR uh, Wide Area Pass for Kansai. Um, check their website for that. Um, I'm not sure if that goes all the way to Hiroshima, but uh, it'll get you most of the way there. If you want to go to Tokyo, uh, Shinkansen is probably the best way to get there. Uh, you, If you really don't want to buy um, the, the, the pass or the expensive ticket, then you might want to explore uh, flying there from Kansai Airport. You can use Peach, which is the um, low-cost carrier, which runs from um, Kansai Airport. So it might be convenient to get to Haneda Airport or Narita. And finally, if you want to go to Hokkaido for skiing or something, probably flying is the best way. You can get the Shinkansen, but it's going to be really expensive. Um, it's best just getting a cheap flight on Peach. Um, you can get a flight directly from Kansai to uh, Shin Chitose Airport in Hokkaido. Um, yeah, that's my recommendations for you. Uh, leave a comment if you have any other questions about train, tra train travel. Um, so that's enough really. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful for you. I hope that's just interesting if you're into trains. Um, I hope you liked all the little clips I've been putting in uh, as I go along because it took me forever to uh, gather these together. Um, if you want some more information on specific lines, let me know. Maybe I can make a whole video about that. So definitely let, let your voice be heard. And thank you for watching. Take care and uh, have, a, have a happy Christmas if you're watching this fairly soon after uploading. And happy travels in Japan if you're just checking this out for your vacation. Uh, so take it easy. See you again. Bye bye.